Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I just thought I would start a little vlog of some days in my life. It is currently 11 so I've been up for a little while mostly just doing work and now I'm going to drop some stuff off at the post office for Depop. I actually watched my 21 outfits video this morning to pick an outfit because I didn't know what to wear and I've never worn this out of the house aside from that video. So both of these are from Depop. I can put the sellers below and these pants are actually Guess is the brand. I just made a nice little latte to go as just the most predictable person that I am. And after I run those quick errands, I am meeting my friend Claire for lunch and I'm so excited because we are going to Little Pine in Silver Lake. It is a completely vegan restaurant that donates 100% of their proceeds to charity, to animal charities. And so could that not be better? I want to try everything on the menu. I just parked at the restaurant and I don't know if they have outdoor seating. So this might turn into a picnic, um, but I'm waiting for Claire, so we'll see. I really love it over on this side of LA. I feel like I could definitely see myself moving over here in the future. It's just like a lot calmer and it's more naturey. It's like more hilly. It's just like a little bit more suburban, if you will. I don't think you can even see this. They have food for dogs. I ordered the burger and fries, and I'm so excited. They're like truffle fries. They look fantastic. Garlic fries. Yum. And you got the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Also with breadcrumbs. This is the turmeric ginger chai with oat milk. How is it? Fantastic. Creamy, and <laughs> spicy. Feels like it's good for me. Oh this, my mm, god. It's really good. Ooh. Oh, really hot? So good. This looks so good. You know what time it is. It's time for our afternoon kombucha. I was just stuck in so much traffic. It took me so long to get back. Little Pine was amazing, by the way. I loved my burger and there are so many other things on the menu that I wanna try. It's definitely a smaller menu and it's on the pricier side, but it would be a really great date spot like at night with all the little twinkly lights. Like the overall ambiance and the outdoor experience was a 10 out of 10. I am currently surrounded by five or so different boxes that have come in the mail this past week and I've opened them but haven't like fully unboxed them because I wanted to do it on camera with you guys because they're all really exciting packages, honestly. I am going to start out with this box from Brightland and honestly, I might have screamed when I saw this arrive because they make olive oils and vinegars that taste absolutely exceptional. I love their olive oil that I have. They sent me their Ardor chili oil, which I could not be more excited about. Like the thought of drizzling this on like pizza or pasta or even avocado toast. It is a combination of chili peppers, chipotle peppers, jalapeno and paprika. I'm so excited about this and of course it's mixed with their olive oil, their balsamic vinegar with California blackberries. And I also noticed when I opened this before that it came with a little recipe card that had a really great sounding vinaigrette that used this and their olive oil. So I will definitely be trying that. I was just with Claire earlier and we stopped into a gift shop and they had this olive oil and she bought one for her mom. And I also bought something for my mom for Mother's Day, but she sometimes watches my videos. So it's gonna be a secret what I got. Next up, I got some jewelry from this little independent brand called Petite Moments. And they make these adorable necklaces that have lots of tiny little pearls. I've already worn this one that is like half chain, half pearl. It's probably my favorite, but I really am excited to layer it with the more colorful ones. And they also sent me two rings. They sent me this one on the top and then this little black one. 
and I just think that they're really cool. I have a restock of Necessaire products because I am an affiliate with them and I love their body lotion, their body wash, and their body exfoliator. This time I actually got the body wash and exfoliator in eucalyptus, which is just such a relaxing scent. So maybe I will use this tonight when I take a shower because I am just that excited to try it. Yeah. I'm really interested in this body serum. You can apply it with the moisturizer or not. It is a hyaluronic acid serum for like extra dry skin. And I love hyaluronic acid on my face. So I don't know why I haven't tried it on the rest of my body because I do have really dry skin. It is literally just getting darker and darker as the sun is setting. This box came without any labels and was kind of breaking in the bottom. So I just truly had no idea what I was going to get when I opened it. It is from the one and only Fenty Beauty. Rihanna, thank you. I love her makeup. Huge thank you. And I will be trying out all of these tomorrow. If I knew what this box was, I would have opened it the second it arrived, not waited. Like For dinner, I have some leftover tempeh that I cooked with sesame oil and coconut minos, and then just some roasted veggies on the side, and just a little bit of tamari for some salt. Good morning. Today I have a very long to-do list of things I need to clean because it's been a minute and my closet looks like a disaster and I need to take out the trash, vacuum my room, change my bed linens, do my laundry, which includes all my blankets, towels, Sam's toys. I need to clean the mirrors in my bedroom, the living room, and the bathroom, dust surfaces, and clean my shower and toilet because there was a cockroach in my shower like two days ago, and I haven't gone in there since. Maddie let me use her shower. It was horrifying. I'll spare you guys the details. But after that, I'm like, okay, time to bleach my shower before I ever step foot in there again. I also really want to book a pedicure because I'm finally fully vaccinated. It has been two weeks since my last vaccination. And so I feel comfortable going into a salon and I actually have some gift cards to Heyday in LA, which is a facial place. So I would love to use those and it just, you know, treat myself a little bit. Delaney came over because she was in the area. So we're gonna nice. go get a snack. I can't oh, believe Oh, look at this vaccinated hug. 360. <laughs> I just, it's so, it feels like surreal. I'm like. I know. I feel so close. This is my first. I can like count on one hand how many people I've hugged. You're definitely the first. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Delaney just headed out and now I am back to cleaning my room. I thought I would try out a couple of the Fenty products that I received yesterday that I am like the most excited about because why not? And I'm sure you guys wanted to see a little bit more of them. So if you're interested, continue watching. If not, feel free to skip it. I know not everyone's into makeup. The first product I wanted to test out is the Fenty Blurring Skin Tint. This is in the shade two, which looks like a pretty perfect match for me. And I really love skin tints, so I was curious to see their take on it since their other foundation products are like very high coverage. First impressions, it is very liquidy and actually has less coverage than I expected. It has less coverage than Ilia and Bite. I'm gonna see if I can build it in areas where I have acne. <laughs> I'm back, I just did my brows and added a bit of the Kosas concealer. And now I'm going to try out this Fenty Cream Bronzer. And cream bronzers tend to freak me out a little bit, but I love cream blush and highlights, so it doesn't make sense. I'm using a little brush from Illamasqua and I'm going to attempt to contour my cheeks. I feel like it actually looks pretty natural. They've really nailed the bronzer shades because I love my powder bronzer from them. First time ever applying a cream bronzer. The texture at least looks really nice. It like has kept the glow from the skin products. I am trying out the cream blush in 
Fuego Flush, which is bright tangerine. No turning back. This is good. Base brought to you by Fenty. I just put on some mascara. This is my favorite. It is the Bite Upswing mascara. And lastly, I am trying the Fenty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm in the shade Latte Lips. I think this might be my favorite. It is such a like sheer, comfortable texture and the color is really natural. It's like not sticky. If you are gonna try anything from Fenty for the first time, I highly would recommend the cream products. I just have had such success with them. And second would be their bronzers, both the cream and the powder. Hi guys, so um, I laid in bed and doom scrolled, if you will, for like over an hour. And now I'm finally leaving to go to Target. I miss having my dog around. She keeps me so much more active and it's harder for me to get stuck scrolling on my phone for hours. There's just so many terrible things going on all the time. It's just, yeah, anxiety is here. Um, but hopefully Target will maybe calm my nerves a little bit and I'll probably buy some stuff I can make for dinner as well because it is 7 p.m. now. Here is my Target haul. This is all of the random food bits that I got. I decided for dinner tonight I'm going to make a pizza, so I bought this pizza sauce that was on sale. And here is what I actually went to Target for, truly the most random things. Fabric softener, socks, pens, more tennis balls, a label maker, and a bathroom drawer organizer. Beautiful pizza is out of the oven. Now I'm going to top it with some Brightland chili olive oil. Today is gonna to be the last day of the vlog. I just woke up and got dressed. I am just quickly making some breakfast and a chai latte because I am going to LACMA today with Danny and I am so excited. I haven't been to an art museum in probably a year at least. Um, and there's a really exciting exhibit that I've been wanting to see. So I'll be sure to take some clips for you guys and then we are trying to make it to this Chinese food pop-up. It is called Man Eating Plant. So I'll show you guys that as well, but I'm really looking forward to it because I don't usually do this kind of stuff. That is it for this vlog of a few days in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely a bit all over the place, but I've really only been watching vlogs on YouTube lately and I think you guys seem to enjoy them as well, so let me know. I also wanted to tell you about the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for creating and hosting a beautiful online presence. For the past few years, I have been using Squarespace to host my portfolio website for my graphic design work to lure in new clients and tell people a little bit about myself, which is currently undergoing a revamp, so I'll show you guys that in a future video with them. But what has stayed the same over the years is my appreciation for how easy Squarespace makes it to have a beautiful website. 
It's super easy to use. They have thousands of beautiful templates to choose from that are super interactive and customizable to your liking. I have taken many classes on web design and honestly, Squarespace is the way to go. It is so much easier. It's a lot more intuitive and they have 24 seven customer service as well. So if you ever get lost, you have people to talk to, you are not on your own. There are truly endless options for what you can do with your Squarespace website. You can have a custom domain, you can gather donations, host an online store, have a blog with commenting features, as well as integrating your social posts into your website through different widgets. For example, you can have your blog posts automatically pushed to your socials from your website and also have your social posts automatically feed to your website as well. They also offer super in-depth analytics so you can know what your visitors are interacting with the most on your site, where they're located, and other important demographics. If you are looking to create a website anytime soon, look no further, check out Squarespace. And if you go to squarespace.com slash lindsayrem, you can actually get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you with some new content very soon. Bye guys.